Hello and welcome to the second and final Canada vlog. In this video we begin in Vancouver before heading over to Whistler where we visit one of Sid's friends from college and we go camping, we go to Joffrey Lakes and then we head over to Calgary for the last part of our trip where we visit the Stampede and Lake Louise and Lake Moraine. Hello, hello. We are back in Vancouver now. It is Sunday and I'm feeling a little bit worse for wear today. My whole body seems to ache and it really hurts to bend and straighten my leg because the cuts and the grazes are mostly on my knee. So that's not great, but we're having more of a chill day today. This morning, I've actually been working on an assignment. I'm still not done with uni stuff. It's just a study abroad assignment for Leeds. It's like a reflective essay on my time and it's due in about 48 hours because of the time difference and I've been putting it off all summer. I meant to write it in about May because I knew this would be the case and I knew that I'd have to write it at a really inconvenient time. And here we are. Sid's just gone to get a haircut if you're wondering where he is. And then this afternoon, I think we're gonna go and see some gardens potentially and then meet up with Kelly in the evening once she's finished working. Someone's come back and they're not yeah, very happy with their the, haircut. Like, oh, can I get a skin fade and then a little bit off please? classic British haircut. And he was like halfway up and he didn't even ask me, he didn't even show me. Usually they're like, oh, do you want this much off? He was like, no, <laughs> just took it straight off. And then once he'd taken that bit off, I was like, oh, it's done, like it's short, but it's okay. And then he started going at it again. Like he got it all done, he was like, yeah. Oh, it's very short on the side. Yes, this is what I mean. <laughs> Welcome, it's the uh, Queen Elizabeth Park. After Kelly had finished work, we met up with her and headed over to West Vancouver where we went for a lovely dinner before doing some exploring at various areas over there. So the 11th of July is National Slurpee Day. So here we are getting our free Slurpee in 7-Eleven before heading over to Squamish to do a hike. We are about to climb to the top of that up there. Wish me luck. <laughs> The hike that Kelly had chosen for us was called The Chief and I don't think any of us were prepared for how difficult it was going to be. It was essentially like being on the Stairmaster for about an hour and a half because it was just straight up a lot of stairs, a lot of rocks, a lot of ladders and at some point just sheer rock faces. What's Spider-Man doing over here? Sure, <laughs> Where are you going Kelly? <laughs> As you can see, I was completely dead by the end of it, but the view was very worth it. However, clearly not worth it enough for Sid, who then decided that he wanted to scale the second peak, which is this one that you can see in the video. So as Kelly and I were making our way down the first peak to the bottom with no intention of going up the second, Sid ran up to the top of the second peak and he did get some pretty cool drone footage. On our way home, we made a last few pit stops at Shannon Falls and also Lynn Canyon, where they had this super cool but super tall suspension bridge.
On Tuesday, we were up bright and early to catch a coach over to Whistler, which is this really cute little ski village where one of Sid's friends from college actually lives at the moment, Alex, who was very kindly letting us stay with him and showing us around the area. We firstly went on a bike ride around the lakes there before heading off in the evening to go camping with a few of his friends that also live there. I think our only regret from this trip was actually not spending more time in Whistler because both Sid and I fell in love with the place and I feel like it's definitely somewhere that we're going to at least visit in the future, maybe even live there. That's how much we liked it. So a big shout out to Alex and all of his lovely friends that we met for welcoming us and giving us the best time. Tonight the whiskey Thursday morning started in an interesting way. Firstly, being eaten alive by mosquitoes, and secondly, finding what I think is a marmot under the car. However, after the marmot rescue mission, we headed off to Joffrey Lakes, which was our hike for the day. And this was one of my favorite hikes that we did in Canada, I think, because the lakes were just gorgeous. The color of the water was something that I had just never seen before. However, it was freezing, so even though Sid dared to jump in, I did not. Making our way back down, we headed to a local brewery to get a drink and by this point I was absolutely knackered so I just went back to rest and to do a bit of editing but Sid went out with some of the others to play frisbee golf. <laughs> Hello, I feel like I haven't checked in for a while, but we are currently in Calgary. We came here from Whistler yesterday and this is kind of our first time venturing outside because our Airbnb is so far from everything, but we've also realized that everything is far from everything in Calgary because it's so spread out here. It's also such warm weather here at the moment. It's about 30 degrees today, but this is actually colder than the UK because the UK is currently having a heat wave and when we get back on Tuesday it's gonna be about 37. We are here at the time of the stampede as well which was kind of unintentional but also intentional. We're not massive country fans mm. but we are gonna go and check it out tomorrow I think so that should be interesting. We've been told by the people that have gone that we just need to embrace it. <laughs> Lydia has found food and now she's super speed over there. I can't even keep up anymore. What is it? On 
the Saturday we headed over to Calgary Stampede which is one of Canada's largest and most famous festivals which is the reason why we went. It's basically kind of like a cowboy country festival. There's lots of rodeos, different exhibitions and shows. It's very different obviously to anything that we have in Britain and to be honest it wasn't really our vibe especially as two people that didn't eat meat so we didn't stay for long we kind of had a walk around saw the different sites and then headed home <laughs> put your bum down yeah ow oh this is not comfy hello it is sunday today and we are sat by lake louise we had a very early start this morning yeah. to get here i think we got a train then a bus and then another bus as well and now we're eventually here about four hours later but... and we're about to get another bus over to lake moraine I think it's pronounced. So it's quite a long day. We don't get back until about 10 p.m. tonight. And today is also our last day in Canada. Somehow, the two and a half weeks that we've been here has absolutely flown by. And tomorrow, about midday, we're actually flying back home. So now feels like a good time to end what is probably an incredibly long vlog. I feel like we've filmed so much content over the past few weeks. And this is probably be a nightmare to edit but i hope you've enjoyed whatever the outcome is don't worry though this is not the end of the travel content for this summer if anything it's only the beginning because we are going away again at the start of august for six weeks and in the next couple of weeks i think i'll probably tell you where that trip is too but it's very exciting but for now i will see you in the next video bye bye <laughs>